the stage up in uh, Toronto and um, it's the first time I had it set up but I had it I had a canopy on it earlier and at the wind but it almost tore it tore it to shreds yeah so I had to take that down but I, I got this from a school in uh, Toronto what a beautiful day what a beautiful day hmm loving it How's it going guys? You Ottawa Scotty coming at you here. I have a, just a quick little update with regards to the motorhome stage. There have been some massive landmines that have uh, come my way with regards to this project that have uh, kind of put a wrench in the spokes to say the least. But I'm happy to say that all of those issues have been sorted through. Things are going really well now and we're turning the corner to the point where we could actually start doing fun things. So looking forward to doing fun things with you guys. So first of all, first off, I've done one gig with the stage so far. Good gig, made my first money with it, but as you can see, Cherry Pie, my 1989 P30 motorhome, is absent from this gig. And this is supposed to be the motorhome stage, so why isn't Cherry Pie there? Yeah, so anyways, you might have noticed that she was absent from that gig. So what's up? Uh, about a month ago, I took her out for a little spin down the road and got her home and she overheated a little bit. It wasn't too bad, but she's getting a little hot. If I'm going to be having a vehicle on the road, it's got to be reliable. I got to be fully confident that I'm not going to break down, especially if I'm using it on paying gigs. It is not acceptable for a for me to be driving to a gig and have a breakdown. That means somebody doesn't get a band. It also means that I don't get paid. It means disaster. Reliability is, is everything here. And we're working with a 1989 motorhome. So it's a challenge, guys, let me tell you. Uh, she was overheating a bit. And I, I thought, I thought that was because she had a blown head gasket. Uh, there were a couple things, a couple symptoms about the way she overheated that led me to believe that it could be that. Not the problem. I'm going to show you what the problem was right now. I took the fan shroud off when I was working on the exhaust manifolds and I never put it back on. I don't know, I just didn't think it needed to be on there. Let me show you where I'm talking about. This plastic piece right here, this piece right here, that is the fan shroud. And as you can see, it's got a bunch of holes in it because I drilled holes in it to get it off. It's also got this metal thing here now as well as some zip ties because I've zip tied it back together and put it back on the motorhome. And what that does is it, it hugs the radiator and directs the airflow mosquitoes through the radiator and um, towards the fan of, of the engine, right? So pretty, pretty important. I don't know why I thought that I could just leave that off. Put the fan shroud back on. I pressure washed the radiator and she doesn't overheat anymore now. Actually, she runs really cool. So, crisis averted. The other problem I was having with her, she wasn't really starting very well. I had a couple instances where I had her out on the road, turned her off, and then went to start her and she wouldn't start. And it took me a while to get her started. Kind of it was like really weak, like it's a weak start. Starter motor wasn't turning over very well, which is strange because it's a brand new battery in there and a brand new starter. So anyways, what I did, I made a brand new cable, nice clean lugs, took from the negative battery terminal and went directly to the engine so that the engine has a good solid ground and that fixed the issue. So now she starts really good, really strong. And so that fixed that problem. And the other problem I was having with her is the brakes. I wasn't really super into the way the brakes were feeling. It's just kind of spongy. So what I did was I 
bled all the brakes again and I bled the master cylinder and now she stops on a dime so she's good she's good now cherry pie she's running good she looks good um, I also had a bit of a fuel leak too which you'll see right here <laughs> so that was another issue that I that I fixed a little bit of there's old fuel lines in there and eventually that whole tank gas tank is gonna have to get dropped and all the fuel lines replaced but I've fixed the leak for this year and so that should be good so she's reliable now and um, ready to go runs real nice I'll take you guys on a little spin really soon she's back in the game now she's ready to go let's talk about some of the issues I was having with the stage so I've had the stage out for for one gig it was great it was fantastic this was just um, let's talk about some of the things that were good let's talk about some of the things that were really bad about it first of all the stage is good and strong it's fun to play on it sounds good but the most important part is that it is strong good good and strong the one thing about it that was really disappointing was the canopy You see we've got a little bit of a breeze here today that's not windy but there's a bit of a breeze now the canopy even in this little breeze was just blowing all over the place you know it's got those spindly spindly little legs it's got a really big surface area for a roof and it's just blowing all over the place it was stressing me out man so I can't have that you know if I'm playing on the stage I can't be stressed out about the roof moving around and all that kind of stuff so that's no good the stage I'm using it without the roof which was fine for that day because there was no rain and we weren't playing in direct sunlight now if I'm going to be doing outdoor events with the stage is absolutely paramount that the stage have a roof without a roof the whole project is kind of pointless doing outdoor events peanut butter cup Doing outdoor events is very unpredictable, okay? So you gotta be prepared for any kind of weather. Now, you gotta be prepared for rain, wind, and extreme heat. So if you can't eliminate, if you can't be comfortable with those, with those weather possibilities, then it, you kinda have a useless product. <laughs> so, so yeah, it is extremely important that the roof system work now that cherry pie is back in this picture back in the game she's back on the ice what i'm gonna do is i think i can fix that problem my plan is this set the stage up in front of the rv i'm gonna attach the roof system somehow and attach it to the awning system of cherry pie to the side of the coach here and you know that's a good solid solid secure point here you know it's firmly in the side of the motorhome and that ain't going nowhere so I'm thinking if I can somehow utilize that it would really greatly um, stabilize the canopy system since it's so flimsy you know that is the plan right now so the the, the way forward here let's get the stage set up um, figure out a way to fasten the roof system to the side of the motorhome which I think we could use the the awning secure points and um, I think we're in business I think uh, you know now I've got a reliable uh, motorhome that um, I've had her out on the road a few times now she's running good got reliable she's reliable and I know I have a reliable stage. The only thing I got to figure out is this roof situation. And I think I can figure that out. Just wanted to give a quick update for that project. The next video that you guys see with this is going to be hopefully with um, the stage set up. With the roof fastened to the RV nice and secure. And um, hopefully we'll have her 
decorated a little bit too because that's the fun part too I want to put some lights and everything like that on her so anyways guys just a quick update from you Ottawa Scotty today I've got all kinds of gigs this weekend I can still barely talk still got no voice so I don't know how this is gonna work um, it's, it's gonna be interesting I'm gonna be in limp mode here but anyways guys tune in this weekend if you uh, if you love the music vibes at table 19 um, hang out with your host none other than northern farm girl pew 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 hope you're all enjoying the music vibes you auto Scotty signing out see you soon I'm a certain, I'm a freak, that's